Hi, and welcome to volume five of our Extended Technique series, where we will be exploring the idea of multiphonics in a very untraditional way, where there's like a lot of fertile ground to be explored. So as trombonists, when we think of multiphonics, we normally think of playing and singing. Uh, simultaneously. Or sometimes we might have even encountered split tones or the idea of multiphonics produced with just the lips. But there's another really easy way to get a multiphonic effect with a common tool of the trade, and that is the Harmon mute. So when we think of Harmon mute, we think of the famous wah, 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 wah sound. And we think of like, you know, jazz type sounds or commercial type sounds. And we might think of stuff like that. But there's a really fascinating way to manipulate the Harmon mute that lets the upper partials of the note you're playing kind of reveal themselves. So listen carefully. I'm going to completely cover the Harmon and then lift up one finger. And you kind of hear this B flat F as I lift the finger and let more of the sound out. Now we can control this even further and we can get like a fifth, an octave, a natural seventh. Listen carefully here. Now those kind of correspond with the upper partials in first position. So you can explore this sound in different registers. I find that B flat 2 down to E2 is the richest territory for getting these sounds. So like this B flat. Down to that E2. And you can play with it all over the horn, but once we get to higher partials, the effect becomes less and less. So if I take the octave up from that B flat two, or B flat three right beneath middle C. You get some change in the timbre and the color and the notes that you hear but not like as obvious or as striking maybe as the lower register. And if we go up one more octave to the B flat four, as you might notice, there's even less of a difference there. Now, one thing to consider when you wanna play around with this, or if you're a composer that's watching and you wanna write for this, is that the mute matters. So what you heard right now is kind of the traditional Harmon Wawa mute. Actually, it says Harmon on it. But if we switch to other Harmon mutes, you're going to hear a slightly different sound. This is like a bubble Harmon mute made by the Joe Rao company. I like this mute for orchestra playing because I think it tends to project a little more. And it has a slightly smaller uh, cup on the stem here. And we 
also have a Trapani Mute, which is a 3D printed mute from Los Angeles. I love the colors on these things, which is kind of the quietest of the Harman Mutes I own and has a different harmonic, slightly different harmonic profile when you use it. And again, just so we can hear them back to back, here's the original Harmon brand, Harmon Mute. Now, uh, I switched to using F and 6 position for a lot of these, so if you notice the difference between the E I demonstrated and the last few that I've been playing with these harmony mutes, I switched to an F. It's just easier to reach for me. And um, one other thing that we can do, rather than lifting fingers up one at a time, is we can slowly change the cup of our hand. I think it gets kind of a subtler effect, and it can be a really neat thing to work with. So there's a ton of unexamined ground in these techniques and I think it's a really fun territory to explore as either a performer or composer. If you have any questions for me leave them in the comments. If you're a composer that's gone to this point there is no real way to notate this yet but there are a few pieces that have used it. Uh, I highly encourage you to work with a specific trombonist if you decide to use this or to have just a kind of vaguely defined technique like lift one finger and to be okay with the results of whatever happens to happen with the person's horn and their mute choice. So you could get as granular with it as you want or as vague with it as you want. Just know that the more personal connection you have to your performer and their equipment, or the more you know connection you have to your equipment as your performer if the, for the trombone is listening, the more you're going to understand about this technique and what your own individual sound is going to sound like. All right, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.